In our early days, when we stayed here at Yuta, we were staying with wild animals. That's why to us, wild animals is not uh, dangerous like a human being. Our livestock was, uh, were grazing together with uh, these wild animals. A majority of African people were scattered all over, even all over the, the Kruger National Park, even Savisand and, and Manyele. And they used to visit each other on foot. There were no boundaries. Ourselves and nature were one thing. There came a time when apartheid was implemented. Uh, the blacks must be put in the trust land and the white must remain in, the, in their farms. Today we are fighting against the rhino poaching. It was created uh, from that time when they separated black people from animals and uh, brought the wild animals uh, to white people. Black people from that time they thought wild animals does not belong to them. It means they belong to white people. The arrival of the white people and the beginning of the demarcation with fence is the one that made us be far away from nature. I'm a people's person. I love challenges, I love adventures. There was this day in March 2013. Our Induna was invited to attend a meeting and then he invited me to come along with him. When we got there, there was this man, Andrew Parker. He was the CEO of Sabisen. He told us that he wanted help to stop the rhino poaching. He showed us some videos of rhinos that were poached and their calves crying. Other calves end up dying because they've lost their parents. And I was touched by that. It touched my heart. And then he said, what can we do to, to, to stop this? I'm asking for your help as you are the nearby areas. The solution of the stopping of rhino poaching was that in each villages, there should be one rhino ambassador. And the job of that rhino ambassador is to at least talk to the community uh, the primary schools, the high schools, the preschools there in the community. Talk to them how the poaching is affecting our environment, how it is, it is affecting our, the people's lives. Because maybe if people knew that, they would stop. And that's how I became a uh, you know, ambassador. Come <laughs> If we lose the rhinos, there won't be the big five. And majority of this village, 
they are working in the parks. They won't have their jobs. How will they feed their families? And they don't know that. Other people do not understand my job. Other people think that I'm, I'm a, a pimpy. I'm the one who's telling police about who, who is the poacher. And that's not that. I'm just raising an awareness to the communities. So I'm proud of being a Rhino ambassador because I'm raising the awareness. I'm helping other who do not have the information of that. Rhino poaching affects us all. There are poachers in my community and it worries me. A little boy, like 15, 16 years old, is carrying a, a gun and is not hiding it because that person is a poacher. I don't believe that they are doing it because of poverty. I'm also poor, but I've, I, I could never think of killing something just because I will get money. No, I, I, I don't think that is right. I just wish that the parks could actually realize that they do not have a relationship with us and it's in their hands to build a relationship with the community. We are neighbors, but we don't get to, to go inside, even if you just want to see the animals. You just, you have to pay. And as you can see, this is the rural areas. Only a few people who are working. So we can't afford to do that. So the fence is still very big. We are 21 years in the, into democracy. Black people have got no access to game reserves. They are occupying our land, uh, the land of our ancestors, our forefathers. If they don't, uh, realize that the time is coming that if they don't support these people who are owning the land, uh, the people will, uh, will revolt against them. All these families, everybody around this, everyone is working in the game reserve, but we don't want to benefit from work only. We want to see uh, plumbers, electricians, uh, everything that is happening in the game lodges be done by the people next to them because we are one community. We believe that we need to be, uh, to be capacitated. <laughs> When speaking to one of the chiefs uh, I, or in Dunas, there was a point that came up to say, you know, if maybe in those services that you do to the community, the people in the community could be used. Do you ever have such programs of trying to work with, with the community? We're running a phase two of training or capacitating the SMMEs in order for the lodges to source from them. We're covering the gardens, we're covering the plumbers, and the brick making, because at the moment, especially for the mechanics or sourcing any food, they are traveling more than 40 kilometers to go get some stuff that they can get it from, they can get a service from the community. So at the, at the moment, the Fulanan Trust, it's busy capacitating the small businesses that, they will, that the lodges will source from them. We also want to be part and parcel of, uh, of tourism activities. Culture is the most important uh, thing that we must sell to our tourists. And uh, by selling culture to our tourists, it means we will be creating jobs. And uh, if that happens, um, youth will, uh, will participate in cultural activities, knowing that at the end of the day, are going to benefit. Hello. Look, they no so much like I. 
Same figure alone. No one looked in the cometrius bamyans of ectai so. Sharp. When Service and Resource Africa uh, wanted to build a relationship between the community and the parks, then I was lucky enough, I was selected as a supervisor of the Rhino Ambassadors in Group A. Then while, while we were there, they were the one who were training us on how to facilitate, to do the presentation, to stand before the crowd. Who are we? We are the Rhino Ambassadors. We are the champions. Committed to improve and protect our environment. We will be your daily guests. Please open your doors for us. Hikomelami Amkela. Sipule kile sipalo. Haye haye sipalo. Haye sipalo. Haye haye. Oh Amen. So, this thing that I have seen that I'm kala. Drama, the Indamnica background, their drama. Then we started working using different methods. I have a, a great passion of, uh, of conserving the environment. And then I thank God because I'm higher grade creative. Uh, I do manage to, to write a drama through this drama. I know everyone will see practically what we are talking about when we do our presentations. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Eh, the poachers. Logom tell I'm come again. First thing we, eh, me book I'm concert be join ane. Then logo say me book I'm me chat chat la share matin. Maf come me Baba Mala hands logo me show one. Ile share ile share we unko la kamo at the wall. Then she be join. Oh, logo utwa sound dash bam. Then wa wa sound dash bam. The share ita tu akala o. Then logo suka ko kutata ma range. Marenja mata igutsutsuma ai fambi ka tsongo yotsutsuma mitwe shibamu shiba then ma patrol mita dubula unwe asalala misala mitirana na hela va mvambiri mita vatsika va farm Mandrula machine Oh Oh Shoot Oh Why do we have to kill animals? They should be protected. When I saw those two orphan rhinos, they were actually scared of us. They were scared of me when I got there. They just, they were confused, crying. Instead of being happy of me being there, I think they, they, they have a feeling of that this human being is the one who, is, who killed my parents. It touched my heart. I really wish that people could just get the message of that animals are also like us human beings and they are not coming to harass us. They're just there on their own space, eating the grass, eating the trees, and we should be on the other side doing our own thing and leave them alone because they, they're not harming us in any way. It, it somehow related to me, to my life. My growing up was not easy. I'm very young and I've got children, so I've got big responsibilities and I've lost my mom at a very young age. And from there, life was not good. So when I saw the calves there losing their mothers, I felt that pain that I felt when I, I've lost my mom. I felt like someone just stabbed my heart and left that knife just there. And I couldn't even touch that knife. It 
it's very very painful i don't know how to explain it so i thought they need that the rhinos also deserve that chance to grow up with their parents i i felt like i owe it to the rhinos to help them what is that for bad Rhino, I bow, but I hate to be Jana, but I have to be Jana. As a, a retired school principal who used to conduct choirs, this uh, gift of uh, music is within me. So I decided to tell the community that uh, they must stop uh, to kill the Rhino. Correct. That was my only way of telling many people and giving them awareness about the importance of Rhino and how Rhino and the Big Five are contributing uh, to the economy of our community and the economy of South Africa as a whole. Rhino ma rhino, vat laya zibejano, vat tega remont, and sold in Indochino. I used to check it through my bino. Correct! Now it's red as an albino. Relevant! There's really no more time, no. The time! Let's help the poor old rhino. Protect! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, you go. Why are not big five? Eh, it's an cock. Little big five. Uh, I will see the book. You say, I relate to Sophie. You queer. You see, where is I? You queer. Look, you say, I relate to Sahan. You go. Van of Akuma Mitiro, Makoko, Vavaka, Chukumeva Lungo. What I learned soon gain, Vavata, I call a Tigura South Africa. But I want to say, hardly. Say, Maritala, Lacombella, one on one Langako. Walangako. I let us brighten the corner where we are. Umana wana in the shock. Missinia, Nashe Hari, Ngofus Bejana, nothing dopu, nothing gala, nothing yingwe, nothing yari. Listen, it's like a big five. So I say. We need to keep on teaching the coming generation that we need to conserve the nature. So everyone needs to learn that. Because without water, we cannot survive. Without the rhinos or the, the animals, we won't survive. Without trees, we won't survive. So as human beings, we need to stand together and protect our environment. community environment because I 
would like to see a strong relationship between the communities and the parks so that the community would feel like the parks belongs to them also, that it's their second home there. They should protect the parks and the environment that is in it.